Greetings everyone, it's good to be here with you today and then uh, we have a great program going on for you. As you know, we are in the 10 days of prayer. Uh, so uh, what what I decided to do with, uh, with the district is to spend the next five days with you guys and then sharing some thoughts, some quotes, and then pray, pray for you. So as we begin, we're just gonna spend a few a few minutes. I won't pass ten minutes, so uh, you can have a seat and then um, watch the the entire thing. Uh, it's going to be a blessing to you and to me. So before we begin, uh, let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for another beautiful day. I pray for each and everyone watching this uh, recording right now. I pray for a special blessing upon them and let your spirit. Uh, uh, touch them, let your spirit transform their lives as they listen to your words and we spend some time in prayer. Thank you, Father, for your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, um, I came to the district. I, I realized that this is needed. It's needed so uh, everyone can participate. Everyone can send it to their friends, their family members. We're just going to spend some time, like maybe 10 minutes, in the Word of God as we're spending five days, uh, the last five days and the 10 days of prayer. So uh, to begin, let me share something with you. Today we're going to be talking about um, transformation. How prayer can transform your life. How prayer can transform your life what do i mean by that a lot of people sometimes they they pray for the people they they pray for their siblings they pray for their family they pray for transformation they pray for blessing for healing all type of prayer but most of the time uh we we as people we forget to you know we forget to pray for ourselves and to ask god to transform us before we can actually pray for the for other people because praying is seeking god's face and if you are seeking god's face you need to tell him why you came to his face why are you searching for him do you want to have a relationship with him do you want to be transformed by him do you do you want do you want to be friend with him you can say all kind of things but number one thing of prayer you have to remember about prayer it's a conversation with God and it's you seeking God's face. So that's mean prayer is a benefit for you and I. And then even throughout the Bible, you, you can understand the prophets prayed, you know, the apostle prays, uh, uh, pray, prayed God. Even Jesus, the son of God, uh, you know, who is 100% uh, God, 100% man, even him who, who was making miracles who you know when he walked on this earth he prayed you know let me read this passage with you real quick before we go into something else and i need you today to listen to the quotes that i'm going to read later and then think about it meditate on those quotes and in the word of god and hopefully by the grace of god that will help you to understand how efficacy you know uh prayer is prayer is very efficacy uh so let, let's go ahead and and read i'm going to look at, read and look uh, right now I have the New King James Bible in front of me. Um, I prefer some other version, but whatever version is good, whatever you like is good as long as you connected to the Word of God. So we're going to read in Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5, there's a story. We're not going to stay in the story because today it's about prayer, but I'm going to read a little bit about the story so you understand. You understand what I'm about to say. And the story is Jesus cleans, you know, Jesus cleanses a leper, right? Uh, someone who had leprosy and then Jesus cleansed the leper. So this is what it says. We're going to read together from verse 12, right? Chapter 5, verse 12. But I'm going to concentrate on, on verse 16, 15 and 16, okay? Um, it says in Luke chapter 5, verse uh, 12 to 16, it says, And it happened. So when they said, and it happened, that's when there was something else, you know, that was happening and they added the, and it happened to let you know, okay, there's another story going on. Like there's something else and, and happening. It says, and it happened when he was in a certain city that behold, a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus, Jesus, the son of God. And he fell on his face and implore him saying, 
Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. So there is someone obviously who believe that he is unclean, who believe that he is not you know he's not worthy to to be in front of jesus or even you know when you had leprosy you cannot be around people you had to be way off grade and because people don't want to deal with you because that was contagious and, and then um that was the law back then but he he fell on his face before jesus and said lord if you are willing you can make me clean so he's searching to to be clean then he put out his hand he talking about Jesus then he put out his hands and touched him he touched the leopard you know the person that they said you're not supposed to be touching he touched him right he said he, he put out his hand and he touched him wow what a Jesus and he says I'm willing be clean wow and the Word of God says immediately the leprosy left him and he charged him to tell no one but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing as a testimony to them just as Moses command, commanded so this is where we're going to concentrate in 15 and 16 for a little bit before we close however the report went around concerning him all the more and great multitude came together to hear and to be healed by him meaning jesus to be healed by jesus of their infirmities so verse 16 says so he himself talking about jesus he himself often withdrew into the wilderness and prayed so now the word of god says the son of god who who was touching people and healing them and cleansing them he withdrew himself to spend some time with his father to find strength in his father to strengthen their relationship as he worked on earth within his journey so what i'm trying to say to you today as we're spending those five days in and prayers listen prayer is extremely extremely essential for a christian household so you need to pray i need to pray we need to conversate with god so i'm going to read a certain quotes uh, for you before i pray pay attention to this quote pay attention to the passage that i, that I just read in luke chapter 5 verse uh, 12 to 16 but concentrate on number 16 and verse 16 that jesus who just cleansed someone who 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 was rejected he himself had to withdraw some time and pray this is what a few quotes that that i found the first one is from ellen white right it says prayer is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend prayer is, is is the opening to of the heart is the opening of your heart to God as to a friend just like you talk to a friend just like you talk to your your father or just like to talk just like you talk to your best friend you can talk to God this way you can share your very deep secret with him if you can share, share your secret with your friend you can share it with god and then another quote said everyone thinks of changing the world but no one thinks of changing himself we always think about changing other people when we forget to do the the changing within ourselves first so it's always good to have a connection with god to pray so that God can transform your life, transform my life, so that we can resemble His Son, Jesus Christ. We can reflect the characters of Jesus, the Son of God. This is why we seek God's face in prayer, to resemble His Holy Son, Jesus Christ. So before we go ahead and try to change the world, let us change ourselves first let us seek god's face in prayer and ask him to 
transform our lives so that we can be a blessing to the world. As we go on for these five days, our first day is there is transformation in prayer. You can be transformed in prayer. So now as I'm closing, I will be praying for you, for your family and the district and everyone who happened to be watching this. And hopefully I'll see you again next time, same place and in and, and, and the same word of God. Let us, let us pray together. Gracious Father in heaven, we give you praise for allowing us to, to be here, to be able to breathe. We are grateful to see your creation, seeing the sky, seeing the trees, seeing the birds flying. Father, we are grateful. We trust in your promises. And Father, today, if I, if I find favor with you under the sound of my voice, I pray for anyone who, are, who is watching right now. I don't know what's going on in their life, but Father, I pray that you touch their life and tr transform them the way that they can resemble your son, Jesus Christ. Also, Father, I pray for this district, every single member in the district, every single family, every single child, every single wife, husband, or man and woman. I pray for them, Father, that you stretch out your healing hands and give healings where healings is needed. Give strength where strength is needed. Give courage where courage is needed. Give peace where peace is needed. Give, give joy and happiness where joy and happiness is needed. Father, we don't need to multiply words. You know and see everyone who is watching. May you reach out to every single household and bless them like never before. And anyone who's watching this, bless him or her like never before. Thank you, Father, for your word. Please transform our lives so that we may be like Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you for the second day tomorrow. God bless you and God bless your family. Bye-bye.